Okay, so now many people are looking ahead to the president's new debt cutting strategy to be unveiled on Wednesday. But Friday night's short term budget deal still isn't a slam dunk, and it could face a tough vote this week. And joining us now by phone, Republican Congressman Tom Graves of Georgia. Congressman, so after all we went through last week, it's not over. We may still have a battle over this thing that we thought was settled on Friday night. Well, I guess so. You know, I mean, there's a vote this week uh, for an additional $26 billion in, in cuts, and a lot of members, such as myself, uh, are, are not going to be supporting that. And the fact is, you know, I didn't get elected to play political patty cake with the Democrats in the Senate. I mean, there's some serious challenges facing our nation. Families are having to live within their means all across this nation. They've tightened their belt. The least Washington could do is tighten their belt, and this is the equivalent of just sucking in your gut at a family photo. I mean, you, you're not changing anything other than just moving it around. So we need some serious uh, cuts coming out of Washington. The American people deserve that. I like that analogy. But uh, listen, you're right. And most households have sliced away their own budgets. But because of that, they depend more and more on things like Social Security and Medicare. And, and that is going to be a tough sell. And there are a lot of Republicans who might not get elected, maybe even some Democrats, if they, if they cut too much, perhaps. Well, you know, we really have no options. We, you know, the, the amount of debt that we've uh, amounted as a country, I mean, we have to get the fiscal house back in order, and that, that wasteful Washington spending is unacceptable, and the status quo is, it does not need to continue in Washington. And that's why you see this class of freshmen who've come in with a different message. They're not worried about the next election. They're worried about the next generation. Well, how do you think uh, your leader did? How do you think John Boehner did in the negotiations? I think John Boehner did, did very well. He did the best he could do. We sent a very strong message with H.R. 1 that had an amazing amount of cuts and, uh, and uh, policy decisions that were going through there and, and tackling some of the issues facing our nation as far as job creation. And unfortunately, the Democrats want to compromise, and all they're doing is compromising our future. We cannot continue to let that happen. But, you know, John Boehner was committed to having a maximum amount of cuts without the government shutting down, and uh, he accomplished that. But he's still compromised. And don't you think in the end that's where we'll see the greatest movement is when there is compromise? Well, I think you'll see a lot of folks like myself that are going to say, look, we've got to stand firm. We, we're, we're willing to stand behind John Boehner and hold the line. And, uh, and I know that uh, he, went in, he, he battled extremely hard for the American people. Uh, through those negotiations and discussions, and and uh, I think he came out uh, doing the best he could do. But you know, the American people want more, and they want the Democrats to understand the message, and that is, we cannot continue spending money on, uh, that we don't have. We we don't have much time, but what do you think the American people, and what specifically do you think about Paul Ryan's budget? Are you behind it 100 percent? I think Paul Ryan's budget is a is a great start, and I mean, he's a very bold proposal. A lot of it takes a, a lot of courage to put out those concepts, and uh, and I'm willing to help. Uh, Some people know. say it's not enough, though. We hear Rand Paul saying it's not enough. Well, I, I'm one who wants to, to do what we can to advance it, and I think that's the, the discussion that's going on in Washington. But it's a great start, and I'm glad he put it out there. Representative Tom Graves of Georgia, our thanks to you. We'll talk again. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Congress. Well, join us tomorrow.